Channel 3 exclusive from the man who says he shared a cell block with the alleged Leicester Street killer. 35-year-old Jesse Dotson is charged with killing six people and stabbing three others. Most of those he killed were members of his own family. Tonight, new information reveals the murders may be a result of feelings Dotson harbored for years against his own brother. On your side, investigator Stephanie Skurlock is here with the story. This isn't Jesse Dotson's first time going to trial for murder. In 1994, he killed his first victim. He spent 13 years in prison. It was during that time that he met up with the man you're about to hear from, a man who shared a cell block with him at a West Tennessee prison. He was there for a uh, second-degree murder. Uh, he shot a guy in the face in South Memphis. This man wanted to conceal his identity. He's not proud of his past. We found it includes a long list of crimes that kept him in prison for 27 years. He crossed paths with a lot of inmates. One of them, Jesse Dotson. Hyper, stayed in trouble. You know, I think I thought he, I think he had a, a ADD or a mental, a mental problem or something. They tried to put him on some medication, but he wouldn't take it. He says Dotson was depressed a lot. He rarely got mail, visitors, or even phone calls. And he seemed to harbor ill feelings against his family, especially his brother Cecil. He stayed in there with me about three months. He was telling me about he, uh, he was going to gonna do something to his brother when he got out because his brother had sex with his girlfriend and stole some of his property. You know, and when he got out, he was going to do something. He couldn't leave no witness behind. That scenario sounds all too real now. In March 2008, Dotson was arrested after gruesome murders at 722 Leicester Street. Someone came into the house and killed his brother Cecil Dotson. Cecil's girlfriend Marissa, their friends who were visiting, Hollis Seals and Shindry Roberson, and two of Cecil's children, Cecil Dotson II and Samario. Left for dead were Cecil Dotson's three other children. One was able to tell police in the hospital who did it. No, I can't say I was surprised because he told me what he was going to do. You know, when I, but when they showed his picture on TV, I just dropped him a knee. Do you think he's a monster? I would say he's like, it's all he's ever talked about is violence. It's all he ever talked about is violence. I always talk about robbing people. I always talk about doing something for folks. He says he tried to reach out to Dotson. I tried to talk to him, plead with him, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no... It ain't worth, you know what I'm saying, to kill your brother or do nothing to your brother, you know. But, you know, he insisted on it. I tried to get him to read the Bible with him, but he just took my Bible one day and just threw it across the cell. I tried to read some scriptures to him, he just threw it across, threw it across the cell. Man, I don't want to hear that mess. I said, oh, well. Dotson's violent outburst would eventually get him moved to a maximum security prison. He was disciplined 29 times during his 13-year prison stay. The incidents include threatening prison guards and stabbing an inmate in the back of the neck. Well, we ended up getting separated because he had gotten into a, a knife fight with a white guy. You know, they put him on max security and shipped him to West High. That was the last he saw of Dotson until he saw him again during a court hearing for the Leicester Street murders. Dotson's trial is set for mid-September of this year. Prosecutors haven't said what the motive is, but the former inmate believes it will center around revenge and feelings of betrayal Dotson harbored against his brother Cecil. Stephanie Skurlock, WREG News, Channel 3. Dotson pleaded not guilty to the murders. His lawyers are asking jurors be chosen from outside Shelby County because of all the publicity surrounding the case.